in my Sunday vest. Ready to get loaded. First at the gate today. I'm gonna get loaded and get out of here. Well, I gotta get tarped, get tied down, get tarped, and then we're gonna get out of here. I'm in Kenora, Ontario, which is north of Minnesota in Canada. I'm gonna go down into Minnesota from here with this load once it's cleared at customs. We're gonna go to Brainerd, Minnesota with it, drop it off. Someone there needs it. Once the trailer's empty, we're gonna go grab another coffee. I'm going to head down to Evansville, Wisconsin. As far as we can get tonight, I don't think we'll get all the way there tonight, but we'll get into Wisconsin somewhere, maybe with Black River Falls or maybe Madison. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. That's a, a, a later problem. Right now, I'm focused on getting the trailer loaded, getting it tied down and tarped, and getting on my way. So the rest of the day can worry about itself. Right now, let's worry about this. How are you guys all doing today? Where do you find yourself? Let me know down below. How's it going? I don't ask this enough. You always get to hear from me, I don't get to hear from you as much. How's your day going? Let me know down below. Ready to go. I didn't know that. 
I learned something new. I looked at the map and sure enough, it's a little bit of a ways around, but we gotta turn left here. Turn right and then turn no, Karen. Right 110 meters. Taking the bypass that we didn't know about. Why didn't you tell me about it? Much less congested way to get around the town here.
since we got loaded so early this morning, it was really easy to get here to get unloaded in the same day. It's never gone so smoothly for me before. So that was really nice. So now we head to Wisconsin with an empty trailer, a whole load of sailboat fuel and a few motorcycle doors. We'll drop those off right where we're gonna pick up our next load. We gotta switch trailers actually there. We're picking up uh, like building steel of some sort. The steel's going to Saskatoon. I don't know if I'm going with it, but we'll find that out later. Depends when they want it there. With these construction deals, sometimes they, uh, they don't want every load there right away. Sometimes they want them to come in a specific order on specific days so that they don't have a big mountain of product in their yard there while they're trying to build something, right? Oh, and I feel light as a feather again. I don't know why I'm still splitting all the gears. At one kilometer, turn right on Washington Street, MM210. We're gonna go down to, uh, looks like TA Clearwater has the cheapest fuel today, Clearwater, Minnesota. Grab some fuel. Or wait, was this the, this is the Petro. I'm gonna have to check my app. I'm pretty sure this is Continue where- Continue on this road for six kilometers. No, 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 first we're gonna go in here. I'm pretty sure this is where the cheap juice was. But I thought that it said it was a TA. I know TA and Petro are the same thing. Sort of like Pilot and Flying J, a little bit different, but. I'm gonna have to check this out. Let's pull up to the pumps here and just double check my app. Usually, St. Cloud would have the cheapest fuel at the pilot, right? Not today. Today it's. Proceed to the highlighted route. It's TA, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they said Clearwater TA. There's no TA here, there's a petrol. Let me double check this. Just a quick check. Is there a TA? I know there's a TA down the road in Rogers. Find fuel. Come on, search nearby. Okay. Yeah, we're in Clearwater, Minnesota. Yeah, it says we're at TA Clearwater Travel Plaza. It's three cents a gallon cheaper here than at Pilot in St. Cloud. Weird. It does say TA, but this is definitely a petrol. Hmm. Clearwater Travel Plaza. I'm pretty sure it used to be a TA, right? And then they changed it. Why would they have changed it to a petrol? That's like a Flying J changing their brand to Pilot. Approaching destination in 200 meters, on the right side. You have arrived at your destination, on the right side, Flying J Travel Plaza. I got 19 minutes left on my clock. Time to pull in for the night. These are reserved spots here, I see. That's new, okay. Well, let's do our circles around the lot here, see if we can find ourselves somewhere to park. My favorite spot is already full, I can see from here. Just on the right here, past the scale, that's where I like to park, but so does everybody else, I guess. After 11. We should be able to find somewhere, I would think. 
hopefully everybody's parked straight and within the lines so that nobody's taking up two spots. I wish I could turn my headlights all the way off in the truck stop. I can only dim them. In Canada, it's law that you have to have running lights on that turn on as soon as you release your brakes. Now, some truck manufacturers like Volvo, they use the signal lights as, as running lights, which I like. But my truck is wired up to have the actual headlights pop on as running lights, and that's to stay within regulation. So I'm not doing it on purpose. I dim them as much as I can. But I still feel bad for shining my lights into people's cabs in the truck stop here. It's not what I like to do. I like to roll into truck stops like this and shut my lights off so that you know drivers who are sleeping or people who are just like at the end of their day sitting in their cab, they're tired, their eyes are sore from staring at the road. They don't need me coming in here with my bright lights shining it right in their face, you know. It is full though. Uh-oh. It is full. We might have to circle a couple of times until somebody leaves. Unless if there's something out here. How about in there? Is that a spot? No, there's a drop trailer in there. Why is there a drop trailer in there? There was no spot available. So I circled the parking lot for a while, parked out of the way until someone left. And luckily they left, like, right behind me. I could just literally drove around me and I just backed right into that spot. So it worked out great. I had a good sleep and ready to start on tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow to check that vlog out. Don't forget to subscribe down below. The best way to support the channel is to subscribe, comment, and hit that thumbs up button. It's free and it's the easiest way that you can show your support and help me grow my channel because then the algorithm will send it out to more people if there's more engagement on it. I appreciate all of that. If you want to take your support up to the next level, you can click the join now button to become a member and get early access to the videos. But if you don't want to do that, a simple thumbs up and a comment will be great. See you tomorrow, everybody.